Here we have a linear function. We can write this linear function as 2x plus y equals 2. We're given the task of plotting this function, this linear function. So to do that, we want to begin by rewriting this in a form that's more familiar to us. So we're going to rewrite it in the slope-intercept form, or the y equals mx plus b form. So to do that, we just need to have y on one side of the equation and everything else over here. So if we do that, we just need to subtract a 2x from both sides. That leaves us with just y equals negative 2x plus 2. So this is great. This is already in the slope-intercept form, or y equals mx plus b form. So m is negative 2 and b is positive 2. Now to, to graph this, we can do it a couple of different ways. We can use the slope-intercept form to graph it using the, these values that we, that we know and what they mean, where this is the slope and this is the y-intercept. Or we can do a more simple method and just plug in different values for x and see what we get for y. So let's try that, that perhaps simpler method. Let's see what point we get for y when we plug in x is equal to, for example, 0. If x is 0, then y is just positive 2. So we have a 0 here, so y is 2. So at the point x equals 0, we have y of 2. So that's this point right here. Now we need a couple of points to make a line. This is still a linear function, so it's just a straight line in some way but we don't know which uh, way the line goes unless we have at least one more point. We have to have at least two points to graph a line. So let's just find another simple one. How about x is equal to positive 1? If x is 1, then we have negative 2 plus 2. So negative 2 plus 2 is, of course, 0. So we said x is 1, and then that gives us y is equal to 0. So that gives us this point here. So now we have this point and this point. From here, we can plug in any point we get, and it'll end up in this line. So we need to connect a line between these two, but we can find more points if we want. So for example, we plug in x is equal to negative 1. Then we're going to get uh, y is equal to negative 1 times negative 2, which is positive 2. And then we just get y equals 2 plus 2, which is 4. So if we had x is equal to negative 1, we'd have y is equal to 4. So you can see this pattern will continue indefinitely. So we can just draw a line connecting these, and it'll go off and, off and on uh, for infinity. So we can say we have a line roughly like this, and it goes forever in both directions. So this is great. We have y equals negative 2x plus 2 written in the slope-intercept form, and we can graph it by just picking any values of x that we want.